Hello all my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys today in this particular video we are going to discuss who is a data scientist. Now this particular question why I am taking up because still there are so many data science aspirants. They know the exact definition or the differences between AI versus ML that is a machine learning versus deep learning and definitely have seen this kind of Venn diagrams. Okay, and always remember at the end of the day, we are actually creating an AI application, whether we use machine learning, whether we use deep learning. One of the example is Netflix application. So this particular question, who is a data scientist, they're still not able to understand where does it fit in this particular Venn diagram. Okay, it is very, very important to understand. Okay, considering this, we'll try to understand who exactly is a data scientist. So let's begin. First of all, let me revise what exactly is AI, ML, DL, and then we'll go with where does data scientist fit into this okay now if i talk about ai ai actually enables the machine to think you know without any human intervention that basically means a machine it can be an application it can be a software application it can be anything right it will be able to do its tasks without any human intervention that is what ai basically means i've made a detailed video regarding ai versus ml versus dl now when i come to machine learning and always remember at the end of the day we are creating an ai application some of the example of ai application is basically netflix uh, amazon.in website you have self-driving cars and many more things right now when we come to machine learning machine learning is a subset of ai and machine learning provides you some stack tools to analyze the data to pre-process the data to do some uh, forecasting to do some prediction you know this kind of stack tools is actually provided by the machine learning and if i talk about deep learning and I, I obviously hope you know that what are the different types of machine learning techniques like supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement, semi-supervised, right? Then when we come to deep learning, deep learning is also a subset of machine learning, like how I've drawn in this specific diagram. It is definitely a subset of machine learning. And in deep learning, you have a different neural network architecture. So there specifically we use multi-neural network. And again, the main aim of deep learning is to mimic human brain. You know, we are making the machine learn like how we human being learn things, right? And again, in deep learning also, you have supervised, unsupervised uh, reinforcement uh, deep learning techniques. Okay. Now coming to this particular thing that where does data scientist fall into? And before that, I'll talk about NLP also. NLP can be a part of machine learning uh, and it can also be part of deep learning. And always understand whenever we talk about NLP, we are basically talking about text data, you know, where we are specifically focusing on how we can make the machine understand the text data and for that obviously the first step that we have to do in the pre-processing is that convert the text data into vectors and there are a lot of techniques there are bag of words tfidf there is word to vec embedding layers in deep learnings you know you have uh, amazing libraries like bird transformers to do all these things right so understand this nlp can be a part of deep learning also it can also be a part of machine learning but now let me answer you where does data scientist fit into this? If I talk about data scientist, guys, I'll just make a new color that is green. It can be a part of everything. So a data scientist can be a part of everything. So if you are becoming a data scientist tomorrow, if you are told that go and work in machine learning problem statement, you have to work. If you have told go and work in the NLP problem statement, you have to work. Go and work as a vision developer. You have to work. Go and work along with the DevOps team to do the deployment. You have to work. Go and do the find out a retraining approach. You have to do that. Right. Go and see why this machine learning algorithm is not working out. And probably you need to create a new machine learning algorithm. You have to go and do it. You don't have any option saying that I'm a data scientist. So probably I just like machine learning. So I'm telling you guys. If you are aiming of becoming a data scientist, you really need to learn machine learning, deep learning. Yes, if I go three to four years back when machine learning was much more popular, at that time I would suggest, okay, just, just go and complete machine learning. But now it has become so much competitive. Right now, a data scientist is probably doing many tasks in an analytics industry. Okay. Even a data scientist, if he's given a data analyst work, he has to do it. He does not have any option. 
why i am saying you and i know many people will not agree yes suppose if you go in a product based company bigger companies like facebook google then you may do a specific task but what about the major product based service based companies you have to do all the tasks this i'm telling it from my experience in my previous companies i worked in panasonic honeywell sapient have done this all kind of tasks guys this is very very important to understand where does data scientist fall into it can be a part of everything right and again the end goal is basically to create an ai application ai application this may be also asked as a uh, interview question to you i asked this one of the interview question in panasonic if you are given an option to become a data scientist or a vision developer which was his interest which you would like to go yes if you say vision developer that basically means you have been getting you are been getting hired for vision developer that basically means that person is not at all interested in working in other problem statements whether it is machine learning probably a tomorrow vision use case sorry it can be an nlp use case it can be any kind of use case so always remember guys you don't have an option as a data scientist you cannot tell whenever you call yourself as a data scientist whichever problem statement is actually given which tends to develop an ai model you have to go ahead with that it can be reinforcement also you have to learn you have to go you have to learn you have to do it tomorrow you cannot say a manager no i cannot do it if he you says like that he'll directly say you are a data scientist man come on do it that's it that is the name right you're given a data scientist right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye